Hey, I just got back from the glass store and uh, they cut me a mirror for the inside of the lid and it fits out nice. Uh, really can't go wrong doing it that way. This mirror only cost eight bucks. Now it's time to go ahead and put the hinges on the lid, and I've got to be very careful doing this. Uh, I've got inch and a half by one inch hinges, and uh, the leaves on them close to about a sixteenth of an inch. Uh, so I'll, I'm going to have to recess the hinges, and they'll set down like that. With the location of the hinges laid out on the lid and the case both, uh, I was able to lightly score the edges where they're going to uh, lie. So, with a sharp chisel, make sure that you sharpen your chisel. And Get this down to about the depth of the hinge itself. The hinge is maybe a 32nd of an inch deep. Uh, but you want to work this out and then we'll work our way across. To carve out these mortises, once you get this outside line cut out, you, you just want to uh, take your chisel and make a series of cuts the opposite direction like so. Now with all those initial cuts made I can go the opposite direction in between all of those cuts uh, make little V-shaped gouges just like so. Now with all of those grooves cut in I'll just go against the grain and start working it out like so. You don't want to. You don't want to uh, try to chew out too much at a time. Just slowly work your way down. And I'm not. I'm not using the hammer. I'm just wiggling the chisel itself. And uh, hopefully, by doing this again and again, I'll be able to work out this entire mortise. Yeah. It would be nice if uh, I could use the router. Uh, if this was a larger hinge, I would just use the router to carve all this uh, mortise out. But the hinges on this uh, jewelry box are just so small, it really isn't practical to get it in there. So, you know, I just keep working on it and then testing it with the hinge and seeing if it's going to fit in there right. And I'm almost there right now. I just want to get this down to where it's flush uh, with the wood. One nice thing about uh, recessing these mortises is that when the hinge is in place and with this 45 degree chamfer that I uh, put on the lid and the box, when the hinge goes back it's going to stop at uh, you know, about 135 degrees so that the, the lid won't flip all the way over and so that should be a nice feature. So basically those uh, mortises are cut about where I need them. I'll probably need to fine tune them some more. But uh, one thing to really keep in mind when you're using a chisel is to uh, keep it sharpened. I just keep a sharpening stone right next to my workpiece and I sharpen often. Uh, chisels get dull really quickly. On the case itself, you got to make sure that when you cut this outside score for the mortises, you do it very carefully and slowly. You don't want to chop through really, really hard because this wood could split right along that edge. So just take it nice and easily. Now with those mortises cut, I can uh, set the hinges in there and they feel nice and flush 
and so all I need to do is drill some pilot holes and put the screws in and you always want to drill pilot holes don't try to just put the screw in uh, without a pilot hole because uh, chances are it's going to split the wood and plus believe it or not screws fit tighter uh, with a pilot hole drilled So with a couple of screws in the hinges, I can see that the lid will open just fine. The only problem is it opens too far, so <laughs> uh, what I said about it uh, locking at a 135 degree angle isn't quite right. Uh, so mm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I think I have to put in some sort of, uh, I don't know, maybe a nice ribbon or something because I wanted to stop right about here when uh, when it's opened uh, so that you can see the mirror. For the trays I'm going to apply a uh, Danish oil finish. Uh, it's basically a tongue oil and it's pretty easy to apply. Uh, you don't need to seal the wood or anything but you can see as, start as, you, as soon as you start applying that to the wood takes on a nice glow. So what you do is you just rub this on and uh, in about 10 or 15 minutes I'll come with a dry rag and uh, wipe off the excess. So after that oil finish has uh, soaked into the wood for about 15 minutes or so you can, you can go ahead and wipe off the excess and I really like using an oil finish because it it really brings out the grain of the wood and it looks really nice um, it doesn't provide a lot of protection for the wood like a, a lacquer or polyurethane wood but you know these are going to be drawers inside of the uh, box and uh, I think it'll be fine I wanted to put some feet on the bottom of the box, so uh, I've taken it over to the drill press and uh, I'm just going to uh, use these little button plugs and these are uh, plugs that fill up screw holes, so uh, I'll just drill a hole and once that hole is drilled, the plug will fit right in there make a nice little foot now I can just apply a uh, drop of glue into each of those holes and uh, tap the little feet in I decided to revisit these hinges and see if I can't make them work and what I'm doing is I'm just going to carve them out a little bit deeper inside so that they'll fit in like so and I think that might give me a better chance to have this uh, uh, have the lid stay open rather than flopping back yeah I think that's going to work better I these hinges really should be flush with the back and they were sticking out too far and that was what was creating the problem so now right now I've just got it kind of hinges taped in there and I just want to make sure that it's gonna work yeah it'll stop right about at that point so that's gonna be good but that means I just gotta fill up those screw holes I made before <laughs> and uh, drill some new ones oh well